My name is Army. I'm a licensed broker here in the Philippines, specializing in condominiums for rent and for sale around the Kasha Estates, Tagui City. If you are new to my channel, please consider liking and subscribing so that you will be updated with the latest in Akasha Estates. For today, I'm going to give you an update on the construction of Alder Residences, which is the latest project of DMCI Homes in Akasha. But before that, let me show you how to get to Alder upon entering Akasha Estates Gate. So we're now inside Akasha Estates and we just passed by Royal Palm and Rosewood Point. Here on your right is Mahogany Place 2 and on your left is Mahogany Place 1. The next condo is Mulberry Place and you have Phase 2 which you can see in that vacant lot. After that is Akasha Town Center where you have Save More, a salon, and a pet shop among others. We're now turning left and on your right is Cedric Crest and on the left is M Residences by Victor Konsunhi. This is part of the 150 hectares plus of Akasha. So that this is the start of all the residences, all the green fence that you can see here, and it's opposite Mahogany Place 3. So if you have friends, relatives who are looking to invest in Akasha Estates, don't hesitate to contact me through the contact details found in the video description. So the houses that you see on the right now is part of Morning Sun. That's the construction of Manzuria building. And as you can see, you have already lots of trees along the road. So here we are headed back to Cedar Crest to check up close on all the residences so from this gate I usually take my videos on that second building which is part of Cedar Crest so now we are back in Cedar Crest which is just opposite all the residences but before that let me show you um, the perspective of other residences. So this is the site development plan of Alder and I am currently in this building which is just opposite the main gate. Okay. So Alder residences, this whole thing, sits in an almost three hectares land and will have Four buildings, Andea, Manzuria, Oregon, and Sylvan. So four buildings with 18 stories each. Now, each of the buildings will have um, two levels of parking. And the parking ratio to the units is 80%. So here is the main gate okay this is the main gate of Alder there is only one main gate this one is an access road so this is Cedar Crest this is Fennel Building Amaranth and Lavender on the right is Vera Wood okay this is an empty space here at the back of Oregon are houses which we call morning sun this is the main road and these are the houses and townhouses of mahogany place 3 so the main road will be between 
alder and fennel over here. Okay. And my view from where I'm getting the video right now is from Cedar Crest. So when it is completed, this will be how it will look like. Okay, so this is the construction. So that's Andea, Manzuria, Oregon Building, and Sylvan. As I have showed you earlier, this is the area where the main gate will be. Okay? And then beside it will be the roundabout here. That's the roundabout. And on the left side of the main gate will be the entrance to the basement parking. So there's an airplane. So the buildings are 18 stories each and they cannot go higher than that because of the airport that's nearby okay. so this is Andea we're here in Cedar Crest and there's Oregon I don't know that's Manzuria I mean Then there's Sylvan, and then after Sylvan, at the back of it is empty, empty space. So this one is, I'm here in Cedar Crest. So that's Mahogany. Okay. I'm not sure what floor is it now but for the different buildings the res residential units begin on the second floor like for this one it's on Dea the first this level would be the like a lounge it's like a hotel it's a lounge and then the residential units would start on this floor so it's a bit high so lately they've been working beyond five o'clock and sometimes even on weekends they are really rushing the completion of all the residences and I bet just like the other projects of the MCI this will be completed not on time but ahead of time the MCI is a contractor that is why they are able to finish ahead and they have their own people or their own teams who build buildings residential buildings um, for us It's good that it's not raining today. It's been raining for the past few days. And rain or shine, the people here are working so hard.
So this this wall was added to the existing wall of Cedar Crest because the Meralco meters of this building is attached to this wall and when they started the construction of Andea it was like having an earthquake so they have to double the wall so that it won't go down okay and also this road was going to be the main road of other residences so if you have any questions that I hope I will be able to answer, please comment them down below. Or if you have suggestions on what kind of videos should I show in the next ones, please do write in the comments or you may reach me and the contact details provided in the video description so thank you please like this video and hope you can subscribe thanks for watching